In this video, we'll balance the chemical equation NH3 plus O2 gives us this NO plus H2O. It's ammonia plus oxygen. So when we look at this, the first thing we need to do when we balance equations is count up the atoms on each side. So we have one nitrogen, three hydrogens, and two oxygens on the reactant side. On the product side, we have the one nitrogen, two hydrogens, and one oxygen plus we have this one oxygen here, so don't forget about that. It looks like the hydrogens are the only thing that aren't balanced, so why don't we do this? This is an odd number, so we're going to have to get this to be an even number so we can balance this here. Let's put a 2 as our coefficient. This 2 applies to everything, so we have 1 times 2. So we have 2 nitrogens, but we have 3 times the 2 here. That gives us 6 hydrogens. Now I can just put a 3 over here. 2 times 3, that'll give me 6 hydrogens. So those are balanced. I do need to update the oxygens. So for the oxygens, we have 1 plus 1 times 3, the 3. That gives us 4 oxygens. We could try to balance the oxygens right now, but I think I want to do the nitrogen next because when I change the nitrogen, that'll change the oxygens again. So let's put a coefficient of 2 in front of the NO. We have 1 times 2. So we've balanced the nitrogen atoms. Let's update our oxygens again. So now we have 1 times 2. That gives us 2 of the oxygens plus 1 times 3. That gives us 5 oxygen atoms. So now we have 5 here and 2 here. And this is kind of complicated. We could use a fraction right now to balance this equation. We often do this with combustion reactions. So we need 5 oxygens over here. If we multiply 2 times 5 over 2, 2 times 5, that's 10 divided by 2. So we end up with 5 oxygens. So that would work. So 5 over 2. And some teachers, they're OK with that. Others, they want to have a whole number. If you need whole numbers, you could multiply the whole thing, all the coefficients, by 2. So 2 times 2, that would give us a 4. 2 times 5 over 2, the 2's would cancel out. That would leave us with just 5. 2 times 2 is 4, and 2 times 3 is 6. So let me clean that up and put those new coefficients in. And these would be the whole number coefficients for the equation NH3 plus O2. So there's two big things to remember. One is when you start out and you're counting the atoms up, make sure you count all of the oxygen atoms. And then the other thing is you can use fractions like this here to balance the equation. If your teacher's not okay with fractions, you can then multiply everything by two, all of the coefficients, to get whole numbers. This is Dr. B with the somewhat complicated equation NH3 plus O2 yields NO plus H2O. Thanks for watching.